My role as chair of LNI is to ensure that, that all the different stakeholders in this, I've met with the General Contractors Association, the Builders Association, and, all, and many of the Business Association who are saying, we're ready, we're ready to help kind of reform this department. Um, and, and as soon as we have a, a commissioner uh, begin a process of dialogue of what are the, some of the things that we can do very quickly to make LNI a more responsive department, and then on the long term, what are the obstacles that exist? Which ones are the ones we've created? <laughs> that we can change, and then what, what are some of the, the, the challenges with uh, making sure that, that we are providing a safe development environment in, in, in the city. One of the things that I've done as, as we navigate and we try to troubleshoot through uh, in the office some of the constituent services is, is ask folks, why do we do this? You know, is this a policy decision? Is this a practice decision? And does it make sense? And, and, and folks will say to you, this is ridiculous, we shouldn't do this. We shouldn't be required. Um, the other day I had a businesswoman who was uh, going to zoning because she had an exterior sign in her business. Well, she, she, they put her through this incredible process for zoning, um, no translators. And so I tell my staff person, I was like, no, we're gonna get her a translator. At the end of the day, it was sort of, I told her, do you really need that sign where you have it? Because it's, it's in, in, um, uh, in, in an access way for people, a public access way. And she said, no. I said, well, if you don't need the sign, you don't need to be going through this. And she's like, well, they didn't tell me that. <laughs> I like to listen, um, I like to try to get a win-win, but ultimately I know that I got elected to make those tough decisions sometimes. So it's, it's learning to be uncomfortable, and I think that's all, probably the hardest for folks in leadership, is you want to make everybody happy. Um, and I've learned over the years, just because of who I am and how I look and, and, the, and my gender, that, that people are going to be uncomfortable. Um, I've learned to be uh, uncomfortable uh, being in positions where you got to make those tough decisions. So I think if, we, if we're comfortable doing that, and I think this mayor is understanding that anytime you change something, um, you're taking other people out of their comfort zone. So that, that's going to create a little bit uh, of chaos. And being okay with that. One has been my mother. She's just been an, an amazing woman who, uh, despite all of my mistakes, has never told me, I told you so. And I think that's so important because we're so quick to judge um, publicly. You know, you, everybody wants to see you make a mistake to say, oh. And my mother, throughout uh, my non traditional <laughs> professional career, has never said, I told you so. It's always been, okay, you know, you're going to make that mistake twice, and really taught me early on a good work ethics and not to make the same mistake twice. You make other mistakes, but just not the same uh, mistake. So she's been very, very inspiring. Um, and then just having the opportunity to work with fabulous women in my career. Uh, I'm very lucky um, to have had professional women always um, willing to listen to me, willing to, to work with me, and, and it's something that I try now to do um, with many women, with young women. I have you know over a dozen mentees of women that I talk to, that I babysit for, that I lend money to. <laughs> we talk about men. Um, just understanding how important and the value of being at that at you know at the other end of that phone when when someone calls you to just to ask your opinion or just f for you to listen, um, I think that's very important it's, and it's something that that I've always done. Leadership that understands that your bright idea was thought of and who 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 talked about it before, in what context, and how do we learn from that? You know, not to assume that we're, <laughs> we're the only ones that come up with the great ideas. Um, and I think that's helped me in my own community, because my election represents um, a changing of a generation politically in my community. And I think one of the reasons that I've been successful and that I was able to get support was because I've always been respectful of the trailblazers and the people that came before me. Um, and even though for some of them uh, it was hard to understand that I was going to have to do this my way, which is a little bit different, never overlooking the fact that I was here and, and I am here because other folks um, took on some, some earlier battles. And I think if we can do that, that's a way of linking our generations and, and really trying trying to make sure that we don't repeat our history, the bad one at least.